Hey, YouTube, what's going YouTube. on? It's your man Marshall on today's episode of Marshall World. I'm here in Dubai for my man Rahit. Rahit. Travel gate today. As you can see, he's gonna take us to the to the uh, shops and get to traditional drove on. But in today's fit, you know I got the you talking about practice t-shirt, gray pants, three box socks, and of course the question mids, candy lands on fly. <laughs> on today's episode. Oh oh oh. Oh, what you got? What you got? Oh, it's something simple, man. You know what I'm saying? Little blue, little shorts, little pumas. You know what I'm saying? I got my clean, man's here. Clean. You know, this is something simple. Oh, yeah. This is something there. simple. Something we in simple. there. Let's go. I <laughs> like my book. ankle-length garment. It resembles a loose-fitting robe or a long shirt. It's most commonly found in white, all the better to fight the sun rays. Furthermore, it's also common in beige, yellow, lavender, and blue, and those colors particularly come out in the winter seasons. Different countries in the Gulf have their own twist on the traditional dress. In the UAE, for example, the Kandura has no collar and often has embroidery on the sleeves. the fit you gotta have the guthra. The guthra is a cloth headdress that the immigrant men wear. Traditionally it serves a dual purpose of protecting the desert dwellers from both the sun and the sandstorms. The conventional guthra for immigrant men is in white. However, the current fashions have been influenced by the traditions of the neighboring Gulf states as well. Today you'll see a lot of immigrants wearing guthras in red, white, and very different checkered patterns inspired by the styling in neighboring countries such as Saudi Arabia. The guthra is held in place by an aggle, a black cord that wraps around the head. But in this video, you won't really see that. But you continue to watch. You see my uncle get on his whole fit from start to finish. you been in Dubai 22 years 22 years yeah so you you've lived and raised here your whole life all live here yeah okay. so what are some fun things to do out here uh, here uh, you can do like a uh, tour like uh, see some nice uh, hotel five-star hotel like would you dollar you buy something gift here okay it's nice hotel seven-star hotel right. and there's a nice uh, restaurants uh, see uh, inside the see this hotel 
nice and That's nice beaches also and the atlantis and there's a water parks three water parks in three water here. parks nice. one is wild wadi one is the atlantis and one is the liguland but liguland part the kids small kids right. these two park part the Right. Or now, I am a sneakerhead. Now, what can I buy? Some exclusive Nike, Jordans, of and that nature. Yeah, you can yeah. buy anything, yeah. anything. Don't worry, with you. You can right. buy anything. Now, what about any name brands as far as Hermes, Gucci, Louis Vuitton? Whatever you want, you will find here. But here, is, everything is the Gucci is, available, Rolex, and the Gucci bag, the Gucci shoes, the Gucci, oh, whatever you want, the branded, you will find here. So whatever you want, but is it legit is the question. But I know the place. Let see my place, okay? Come and meet me in Dubai. I take around you everywhere. Hey, that's the plug. Now come <laughs> visit, that's the plug. Uh. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, the bag have been secure. I have to go into the souvenir shops here, where you see the different souvenir shops here around me. I'm trying to look for some glasses because after this, we're definitely going to go to the palace and take some pictures with the dope traditional fit. Let's go.